Warriors of Light, thank you for playing and supporting Mobius Final Fantasy over the years. It is with a heavy heart that we announce the end of service for Mobius Final Fantasy for June 30th, 2020 at 6pm PDT. This is the message that I found this morning. Uh, actually, not directly. Uh, I actually found a random comment on one of Mr. Happy's videos that uh, pointed this out, but... It is indeed true that Mobius Final Fantasy will be ending its service this summer. And uh, just putting it out there, I am a little bit disappointed since this is one of the games that I had been supporting from the beginning. Uh, but it seems that not even Mobius can last forever. Uh, there is a full message um, on their official website, which I am going to bring up right now. And I will read out the whole thing to you as well. Uh, thank you for playing and supporting Mobius Final Fantasy throughout the years. After many difficult decisions, Square Enix ended service for the Japanese version of Mobius Final Fantasy in December 2019 after the Warrior of Despair story concluded. Service for the global version of the game will continue until the Warrior of Despair story has concluded on June 30th, 2020 at 6 p.m. PDT, at which time the service for it too will end. The schedule until end of service is as follows. Um, the end of service notification on January 15th, 2020 at 7 p.m. Uh, March 31st, 2020 at 8 p.m., end of Magisite sales in the global version of the game. Um, any purchased Magisite can be used until end of service. And then on June 30th, 2020 at 6 p.m. PDT uh, is when service actually concludes. We would like to express our deepest gratitude to all our players who have supported us since service began on August 3rd, 2016. It is with a heavy heart that we must now bring you this sad news. We will continue to implement updates to in-game events, including the conclusion of the Warrior of Despair story, until the end of service, so it is our fondest hope that you will see our adventurous fates until the very last. Thank you for fighting alongside the Warriors of Light and for being a part of the world of Mobius Final Fantasy. May you continue to bring the light of hope to those around you. January 15th, 2020, Mobius Final Fantasy Operations Team. So, I always felt that Mobius Final Fantasy really didn't get as much love with as other Square Enix mobile games, which is a bit disappointing. Um, Brave Exvius um, has had its own fan events. Um, Dissidia Opera Omnia is pretty popular and gets regular attention uh, f during uh, Square Enix mobile streams. Um, Record Keeper, which is the other game that I have been following quite closely, um, even that seems to be doing a lot better. I think, even though I've really spent a lot of money on both Mobius and Record Keeper, I think I'd be more pissed at Record Keeper's going, <laughs> to be quite honest. Um, but it's always sad when a mobile game, especially one that was touted to be have the same level of polish as a main series title, um, it's just... It's sad to hear that it's ending, but unfortunately, it's um, it's something that has to happen. Um, there's already comments here on the Twitter thread. And it's like, please make it a single-player game. Um, I'm not don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately. Um, but um, for what it was worth, I am really glad I was able to play Mobius Final Fantasy. It was it definitely was an interesting experience. I still haven't actually finished um, the Warrior of Despair story. I'm actually barely even past the first chapter. I've just mostly been focusing on events and uh, and uh, gacha rolls. But uh, it looks like that time is soon going to be coming to an end. So uh, have you played Mobius Final Fantasy? What did you think about it? Uh, let me know in the comments, and we will see you on the next video. Take care, everyone.